This chapter of the walkthrough will cover how to create a materials database for your company. The first thing you are going to do is create a database project. You are going to bring the built-in database into a project and then print it out. This will give you a chance to look at it and make any changes that you need. Return to Walls in Project if you are not already there. Click on Select Project and open the project screen. Click on the Insert button and start a new project. Name your new project Database Project, then click on the OK button. You are now back on the Project screen and Database Project is highlighted in blue. Double click on the Database Project and you are back on Walls in Project. Click on the Materials icon at the top of the screen and you will bring up Project Materials. This screen is blank right now because you have started a new project. Click on Copy Mark Standard Materials. This screen contains all of your database materials. Click on the Mark All button which is located on the lower left side of the screen. Next, click on Copy Mark Materials. You have now brought all of the standard database materials into your database project and you should be back on the Project Materials screen. Click on the Material Report button in the lower left corner of this screen. The Print or Preview screen now opens up. Select Print and click on the OK button. A report will be generated and then you will be given the option to print or save to file. Select the printer option and then click on the print button. You should now be printing out a hard copy of the entire material database. It is recommended that you use this printout to highlight or mark any changes that you would make in the standard database. Once the report is printed, close out of the Project Materials screen and return to Walls in Project. Once back on the Walls in Project screen, proceed to the title bar in the upper left corner of your screen and click on the word Standard. It will be grouped with File, Edit, View, Window, and Help. This will open a drop-down window that lists all of your standard information such as standard labor and standard materials. This is where you will enter all of your company's information. Click on Standard Materials. The first item to be listed will be accessories, example 8x8 clean outdoor. With this item highlighted in blue, click on the Change button. Now you can change any of the information for this material such as price or lay rate. If you have questions about some items on the Update Standard Material screen, press your F1 key and it will explain each of the fields. Once you have modified the fields that you want, click on the OK button and move to the next material item. With your hard copy of all your material changes, you can move through the database and make all of the changes for your company in very short order. You can also create a new material by utilizing the Insert button while on this screen. Adjusting this database to your company's needs will be time consuming the first time you go through it. After the first time, it will just be a matter of changing an individual material as you get new pricing on it and things will speed up. Once finished, click on the Close button. Once the Standard Materials database is set up, I recommend you go through and create the databases for the other standard items such as mortar, labor, and crews. I suggest that you leave the examples that we have already created in place until you have successfully created your own databases. They can be deleted at a later date after they no longer serve as a point of reference or an example. The next chapter of the walkthrough will go over creating standard labor.